Hey everybody, I wanted to share a little story today uh, from Exodus chapter 18. One of my favorites. The next day, Moses took his seat to serve as judge for the people, and they stood around him from morning till evening. When his father-in-law saw all that Moses was doing for the people, he said, What is this that you are doing for the people? Why do you alone sit as judge while all these people stand around you from morning until evening? Moses answered him, Because the people come to me to seek God's will. Whenever they have a dispute, it is brought to me, and I decide between the parties and inform them of God's decrees and laws. Moses' father-in-law continued, what you are doing is not good. You and these people who come to you will only wear yourselves out. The work is too heavy for you. You cannot handle it alone. Listen now to me and I will give you some advice and may God be with you. You must be the people's representative before God and bring their disputes to him. Teach them the decrees and laws and show them the way to live and the duties they are to perform. But select capable men from all the people, men who fear God, trustworthy men who hate dishonest gain, and appoint them as officials over thousands, hundreds, fifties, and tens. Have them serve as judges for the people at all times, but have them bring every difficult case to you. The simple cases they can decide for themselves. That will make your load lighter because they will share it with you. If you do this, and God so commands, you will be able to stand the strain, and all these people will go home satisfied. Moses listened to his father-in-law and did everything he said. He chose capable men from all Israel and made them leaders of the people, officials over thousands, hundreds, fifties, and tens. They served as judges for the people at all times. The difficult cases they brought to Moses, but the simple ones... They decided themselves. Then Moses sent his father-in-law on his way, and Jethro returned to his own country. You know what? Some of you may remember a time or place when, if things went wrong for members of the congregation, church members looked to the pastor and maybe a few other leaders to provide the guidance and support and care for those hurting members. But the problem for, with this picture over time, and especially in the larger congregation, is that caring for the number and needs of hurting people uh, usually requires far more time than the pastor and other leaders have available. And as a result, people receive less care and support than they need. They may feel lonely. They may feel neglected. They may feel like no one really even cares. Pastors who provided care according to this model have also seen its inadequacy. We might visit a bereaved widow or widower for a number of weeks, but soon other people need the pastor's attention as well. And even though we know that grieving person still needs care and attention, there just aren't enough hours in a day to see everyone. So as new crises arise that demand leaders' attention, leaders tend to turn their care to others, leaving some members still hurting and in need of care. Stephen Ministry provides a solution to this problem, just as Jethro offered a solution to Moses' difficulties in trying to do everything himself. By training gifted individuals to help with the caring, Stephen Ministry multiplies the amount of caring that can be accomplished and helps individual care receivers experience the support and concern they need for as long as they need. One person cannot do it alone, as we learn in today's reading. If Moses doesn't learn to use the gifts of all God's people, Jethro says, he will wither and die on the vine. He needs to get some on-the-job training fast. So Jethro suggests appointing assistants, sincere people who are known for their integrity. And they prove not only do they handle the job well, they do some things, maybe, the, especially the daily work, maybe even better than Moses did. So try standing with Jethro and watch Moses as these Israelites line up from morning until night. Notice how this wearies not only Moses, but the people as well. They both suffer fatigue. Moses is exhausted by what he can't finish. He trudges home every night, haunted by what everyone wants done. But the people are also weary. By expecting Moses to do everything, they have to expend negative energy as they watch Moses unable, unable to keep up, as they wait for him to serve them. 
And meanwhile, they're missing an opportunity to receive God's life-giving energy, to use God, the gifts God has given them to serve one another. In, in the New Testament, in chapter 6 of Acts, the young Christian church has been growing so fast that some members aren't getting the care they need. The church has all the normal problems that institutions have to meet as they expand. And so they learn a new method of dealing with this. The apostles find themselves harried by the task of delivering food to the needy. And so it says, the 12 gathered all the disciples together and said, it would not be right for us to neglect the ministry of the word of God in order to wait on tables. Brothers, choose seven men from among you who are known to be full of the spirit and wisdom. We will turn this responsibility over to them and will give our attention to prayer and to ministry of the word. And do you know what happened? Those seven used the different gifts God had given, had equipped them for, and the church grew. In fact, it multiplied. One of those seven was known, known to be full of the Spirit, and his name was Stephen. And our Stephen ministry is named for him, one with the gift to care for others. So our Stephen ministers multiply our ministry. Christ reaches through them to others, and through those others, their care continues and continues to multiply. We are grateful. I'm reflecting on those scriptures, our congregation is led by this biblical message of God's gifts for ministry to every Christian. We are all ministers, each with our own specialty that we have been gifted with. And each minister is not only gifted, but given as a gift to others, sent to love and care for others in Christ's name. So I hope you will join me in rejoicing this weekend that God has given us uh, five new people to serve as commissioned Stephen ministers in this congregation, multiplying the care and expanding the wisdom that our church offers. Informed by Moses and Jethro and Stephen and following God's Holy Spirit, these Stephen ministers and those who continue to serve quietly and confidently get things done here for God. And we are grateful. Thanks be to God.